Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika, this is Library of Tomes, where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. I know that the background of this video is absolutely destroyed. I have Funko Pops everywhere, I have books everywhere. I have a lot of stuff in this library that has not been put together, and I have a dog right here. Oh, and here's the other one. <laughs> So, hi, my name's Tamika, welcome back to my channel. This is Library of Tomes, where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. And you hear the dogs growling in the background. So, you might have known that Jess actually did a mystery box. So Jess from Peace Love Books did a mystery box where she got a bunch of historical romances. And I may or may not have decided to read historical romances for the first time and I may or may not have liked them. I don't know, you should go read my, my, you should go watch my reading historicals for the first time vlog. But because of that and because I give in to peer pressure, I bought the mystery box and we're gonna open it and I'm very excited about it. This has 20 historical romances in it. I have not opened it yet. I am going to do that right now. I don't have a knife or anything because why would I be prepared for any of these things? I literally just got home from work. It's like Friday night and this, like I said, wasn't supposed to show up till tomorrow. And I went and saw my grandparents today. So I just got home, it's like eight o'clock and I normally get home at like 5.15. Plus there was like an accident today, so that was a whole other situation, but yeah. We're gonna open these and oh my god this is so hard i went and got a knife because i'm stubborn get back you don't need me near the knife okay i got it got another half over here come open okay so haven't even liked yet okay 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 so Oh, it like comes in like a garbage bag. Cool. I forgot that um, when Jess opened these, there was an extra thing in here. Okay, so I'm a literal historical historical romance newbie. So I literally know nothing. I asked for setbacks, stuff for a newbie, and Highlander romances. So that's specifically what I had mentioned when I got my box. Uh, I have Once Upon a Tower. So this is what it looks like. And this one, that step back is really, really cute. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Oh, and is this Eloisa? Eloisa James, I can't say words, so um, I am not gonna go through what all of these are about. This does look like a Regency, I think, uh, because there is mention of a Duke in here. And he must free her from a tower. That sounds adorable. I can't wait for that. So next up we have Karen Kay. This is the Night Thunder's Bride. Ooh, that's cute. I literally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so there's no step back in this one. Okay, 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 I'm so excited. Okay, what's next? Okay, we've got Velvet by Jane Feathers. That's what it looks like, and then there's a step back. Let's look together. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my God, okay, so this step back has um, some horses in it. There's like a lot going on in this. There's like a lot going on there. Let's see here. Oh. Oh my god, that's so pretty! Oh my god, okay. So, Phoenix, please get off my books. Ma'am, thank you, appreciate it. So this one's French, it's about a French widow. Um, and she returns to England. I am not gonna read too much about the backs of these, I'm just gonna kinda give you some, like, buzzwords, cause there's 20 of them. Okay, what else? I have Nicole Jordan, it's the passion. Oh my god, this looks adorable, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get you to focus actually on the book. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's look at the step back. Oh my god, look at that step back. Oh my god, that is adorable. To escape marriage to a despised man twice her age, Lady Aurora Dimming makes a scandalous arrangement with Nick, Nicholas, last name I can't say, a dangerously handsome American facing execution for murder and piracy. She agrees to become his wife for one day and one glorious intoxicating night. Okay. 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 Oh my god, this is like Christmas. Okay, so next we have 
Elizabeth Hoyt, and this is Notor uh, Notorious Pleasures. This is a Maiden na uh, Lane novel, so it looks like this. Okay, there's no step back in this one. And from what I can tell, I'm kind of get getting a mix of stuff. Um, so I've got, so far, some England, I think, and then a France, I, th I think. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm an American. So uh, this one's about another Duke. So their lives were perfect until they met each other. And this is about a lady and a Duke who have everything they could have wanted. I don't know. It's It sounds adorable. And I just, I just, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, so it's next. I'm literally pulling these out. I've not even looked in this box yet. So here's the next one. This is Jody Thomas, When a Texan Campbells. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Phoenix, baby, um, you don't need to sniff it. Okay, I'm in the way. Auto focus. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then there's a step back. Oh, it's it's like not a person on it though. Okay, well that was disappointing. <laughs> oh cool, so she gets like raffled off in a wife lottery and it's all fine and then she seems, uh, she finds that her new groom has a knife in his back. So, interesting. Wonder what happens. So the next one I have here is Kathleen E. Woodwiss. This is The Reluctant Suitor. This looks like there might be, oh, uh, there is, and it's not like a step back with people on it, it's just like a normal, normal thing there. Uh, let's see here. For as long as she can remember, Lady Ariana Sutton, that's my goddaughter's name, has adored Colton Winham, to whom she has been brothel since... brothel? That's not the right word. So this is about a girl, she's supposed to marry this dude, and she's always like been in love with him or whatever, but he's like, I'm too proud to choose a future that I did not choose myself, so that's what that's about. And so that's cute. I just want to pull them all out at once. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Is there any more on the side? No. Okay, so next up we've got... What is this? Some Enchanted Evening by Christina Dodd. Okay, so I've heard that name before. Uh, I don't know anything about any of her books, but this step is adorable. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is about a scandalous man. You know what, I'm gonna stop telling you that I'm not gonna read you the backs and then I read you the backs. So we're not reading the back. I don't know what this is about, but it looks adorable. Okay, what's next? I got an Amanda Quick. Okay, so I was actually just looking for, looking at a lot of Amanda Quick's books, so I'm really glad that I didn't buy this, like, right off. So, uh, I'm very excited about that. So, I don't know what this one's about either. Obviously, I don't know what any of these are about. Let's look at the step back together. Is there a step back? <gasps> there is, and it's so cute! Oh my god! I love the, oh my god, is that a pirate ship? Is this a pirate romance? There's an eye patch? This is a pirate romance. What? I'm excited about that. Oh my god. Okay, I've already kind of peeked a little. Let me too. Uh, this one is Lady Hellfire by Suzanne Robinson. Okay, okay. There's no step back. And let's see here. Uh, I'm not gonna read this, but uh, it says erotic. And this is like in perfect condition. There's like no cracks in this spine. Like what? What? Okay, okay, what's next, what's next? Okay, this one's Stephanie Sloan, an angel in my arms. Okay, this one again, like no cracks on this at all. Um, 1881, or 1811, so this is a Regency. Uh, let's see here, what's next, what's next? Okay, this one is The Hero of the Hearts, and this is by Judith Stacy. Uh, this was a Harlequin in 1886. I don't know exactly what that one falls for, but that's about what time it is, 1886. So let's see. Okay, okay, that's all that side. Let's do this little small side here. Okay, this is The Hellion Bride, and this is by Catherine Couture, or Coulter. Beautiful! What is this? Oh my god. I'm in love. I love this. This is the best thing I've ever spent. This is the best $20 of my life. Here's another one. What is it? What is it? What is it? I can't read that in the viewfinder just so you all know because I'm blind. Uh, this is called All We Hold Dear by Katherine Lynn Davis. 
this, let's, let's see, there's a step back, so let's look at it together. Oh, that one's cute. That one's really cute. Is this sapphic? I can only hope. There's three ladies. Um, Steering 1988, so, oh, Scotland. I saw the word Scotland. Okay, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I'm starting to get bored just picking from the top. I wanna to pull them all out now, but I'm not gonna let myself do that. Okay, I'm pulling right here. Ooh, I think this is by an author that I think I know about. Hold on. It is, oh my God, so this is um, Courtney, I can't ever say her name right. Millen, Millen, Courtney Millen. That's how you say it, she's right there. She's really cute. Um, this is the book. It's adorable and it's yellow and that's my favorite color in case y'all didn't know that, but. This is adorable, oh my god. Okay, I don't know what time frame this one is either. Let me see what year it is. 1841 in London, so not quite Regency, but actually not Regency at all, but whatever. Next we have, this is adorable. And I might scream a little bit. This is a Regency. This is Grace Burroughs. This is the Lord of, Heart of Heartache. Oh, you can't see it because my face is in the way. There you go, isn't they cute? Dead. Deceased. Ooh, and this is like a newer one. So, oh, and this is a floppy one too. They gave me some newer ones, which I'm really excited about. Um, because I specifically said that I wanted some stuff for like new people. <gasps> I got a Joanna, Lin Joanna Lindsay. Oh my god. I got Keeper of the Heart by Joanna Lindsay. Oh my god. Okay, so I was really hoping I would get something that I like kind of knew about because like as I've said, holy Jesus. <laughs> as I've said, I know, oh my god. Oh my god. I know literally almost nothing about historical romances and I know literally about a couple authors. So like I said, I've only, I only know a couple authors. I only know a handful. So I was really hoping I would get some that I knew. And the fact that I've gotten two that I know is like really exciting. So let's see, I only have three books left. So there's three left in here. What's this one? This one is The Club by Sharon Page. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It says, behind closed doors, nothing is forbidden. And let's see here. I'm trying to see what. This is uh, 1818. So this is what this one looks like. That one's really cute too. All right, we got two more in here. I'm trying not to sneak any, any glances. Okay, let's see. This is Catherine Hart. This is Summertime Storm. So here's what this one looks like. Oh my God, it's so cute. So this is America, I think, in the... Uh, it doesn't say the year or anything in it, which they normally, which I've normally noticed that they do. This one did not do that, but this smells. <laughs> That's okay. I, I expected that with the older ones. Okay. We've got one more. What's this one going to be? Ready? This one's Joe Beverly. Okay. I've heard of Joe Beverly, I think. And this is St. Raven. We've, we've got to step back. Okay. So it's just kind of like the cover. Uh, 1816, so not quite Regency. Those are the books I got. Those are the historicals that came into my possession. Um, I did not get any Highlander, I don't think. I got one Scot Scottish, or like one Scotland one. And then I got, I would say I got a wide variety of stuff. I got some new, I got some older. I got a Joanna freaking Lindsay. I got some good stuff, a Christina Dodd. I, I'm honestly, I'm pretty happy um, with what I got here. I think that, um, I, and Amanda Quick, which is like a pirate, I think. I think that's what I said that was. I don't know for sure. Here they all are. So yeah, I think that if you're interested in getting this and you know a little bit more about historical romances, uh, you especially know a little bit more than I do about historical romances and you're not brand new, then I do recommend getting this box. I really recommend getting this box if you're brand new because I've got all these romances that were picked out from people who read historical romance. So maybe I'll really enjoy these. Um, I did specifically ask for beginner stuff to the genre. So they did kind of give me a, a bunch of, a, of everything. They kind of gave me a good mix, I think. So yeah, I think that if you're interested in this box and you're kind of like weighing your options, you're like, I don't know if I should do that or not. I think just do it. Just hop on in and, and buy the box because it is $25 and then you pay tax and that's about all it is and you get 20 books. So yeah, I think I broke it down and it's like $1.35 a book. So yeah, 
I recommend to buy it and to see what you get. And uh, yeah, I will leave the link for the box down in the description box if you want to go get it. But yeah, that's all from me. If you want to be my friend on any other platform and see if I read these books, then uh, all my links are in the description. I have Twitter and Sam and Goodreads all linked uh, down below. And with that being said, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Rosie, sweet rose.